Yo, what do you do, buddy? I'm Martek. Hope you're having a good day. IGN just dropped a brand new trailer for the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. And it's titled How to Survive a Killer Clowns Invasion Gameplay Overview. So we're going to go ahead and react to the gameplay trailer right now together. And after our first initial reaction to this, we are going to go back and just peep out some of the details and stuff like that. Be warned, I am going to be yapping throughout this trailer. So if you want to watch this peacefully, then go check out IGN's channel. Now let's get into it. Very excited to watch some new gameplay and also to learn how to survive a clown invasion. Boom! Let's go! Killer Clowns Killer from Outer Space, the game. Outer Space, the game puts you in the very large shoes of the clown invaders or that of the nimble humans. Aside from all, all the right. killing that'll obviously be going on, what okay, do you do okay. in this game? What do we do? Talk Hello, to me, boy. I'm Jordan Matthewson. Talk to me, Jordan Obama, Matthewson. Let's go. How to, how to survive the Killer Clowns invasion. invasion. As a human, your goal is <laughs> to humans. escape the invasion with your life. This means you need to locate various escape routes and find the necessary items to open them before clown pocket. That map preview looks kind of cool. I like there it. There are several options when it comes to escapes for humans, all of which are randomized in placement and require a different combination of steps to open. If you're planning on escaping an invasion, oh, burn down part of the crescent coat. Necessary steps, all while evading that was cool. And Gameplay. Hey yo. Clowns hunting you down. The Yo, that actually looks fun. Cove is well that actually looks fun. On a cove. All right, I'm going to stop yapping. That, you'll have an opportunity for water escape, and as it happens, there's a broken down boat docked somewhere in every Water map. escape? The boat Humans escape right there? Humans will need to find a spark plug to repair the engine. Spark plug and check? And a gas can to fuel it Gas up. can check. There's only Let's room go. for three humans on the boat, so if you're in a group three of four, humans? you'll have to figure things out. Hey, yo, that's an improvement. Friday side, the 13th, it was only two humans. the boat on your own, you get to choose escaping alone or risking your neck waiting for the others. All right. If while sneaking around, you notice a boat escape concrete structure, you found the bunker. We got a bunker escape, escape, two escape so far. Humans will Boat need to and find a gas can to power the generator and a special access card to open the door via the keypad. All right. Be sure to prepare for the door opening because once it's open, 15. it's open for a very limited time. Only open only 15 seconds, three bro? Humans. Three After humans that, as well? You're lucky you'll need to find another so three humans for the boat, the three humans for the bunker. This strange looking contraption is the portal machine. The ever vigilant Wesker Newton found portable a way to machine. reverse engineer some clown tech, and well, now there's a portal to escape through. Nice to portal find escape. Spark plug, then interact to spark open up plug the portal, once again, which needs to be held open for others to escape through. While well, you can hold it open as long as you'd like, letting go of the portal controls will cause the portal to start closing, but will stay open just long enough for you to slip through. Very nice. Once the portal fully collapses, a new spark plug is needed to open it. All right. That's there cool. are several types of barricaded gate exits that can exist around the exterior of maps. Finding a gate key will give you the ability to open up the gate that is blocking these derelict escapes. Due to their dangerous state, these gates are barricaded with a wood barrier that needs to be smashed down with melee weapons. Yo, which can be that's kind of fun. You have to Once smash it down. Once through barricade, you can use the gate okay. key and escape through the precarious exit. If too many humans have tread through these areas, the routes will collapse, preventing what? any further escape. How many it's people also can worth cross noting it? The clowns have the ability to coat each of these escapes with cotton candy blockages. Bro. This prevents escape progress and oh, you must okay. off before you can continue escaping. Wow. Watch out though, because failing quick time events while clearing cotton candy or interacting with escape objects can signal the clowns of your presence. While all of these escape options are ideal, sometimes things just don't go to plan, and you're left to die in the impending cloud. Yo, apocalypse. cloud apocalypse so incoming! Fun. Luckily, when there's three <laughs> what did he say? The match, the We're Trenzi so brothers f crash through an exterior wall and provide one last escape. Oh, okay, the that's cool. Remaining humans to get there in time and up to Run. the to stop them. At zero seconds, the cloud apocalypse detonates, which quickly covers Boom. the map and kills any humans that have not escaped. Nice. All right, there you have it, people. Let's just go ahead and take a quick look back at the trailer and just basically go over what we just learned and just reiterate what the dude just said. So the gameplay first, let's go ahead and peep this really quick. We got the clowns right here, the clown gameplay. Down at the bottom left, we got a few of the clown abilities and you can select them with the D-pad. You know, this is very similar to like Jason on Friday the 13th. And up here, I think this may be like their, the clown's unique ability. So you just click RB and then your ability will happen. Up at the top, we got the scoreboard. It tells us how many humans are left and how many clowns are left in the game. We got three clowns, three humans. I think the game starts out with seven humans. And right here in the middle is the timer. Down at the bottom, we got the HP and stamina bar. And at the bottom right, um, we got the inventory. So it looks like this clown has a weapon. And he can switch to his hammer as well. And up here at the top right, it's like your objectives, what you need to do. It says kill humans, one out of three. And then maybe you get, I don't know, extra XP or something like that. All right, now we have a look at the victim side of the gameplay. It's kind of similar to the clown's HUD. So down at the bottom middle, we got the HP and stamina. At the bottom right, we do got a mini map, a compass, if you will. And on the right side of the screen, we got the amount of players that are in the lobby, I guess. To be honest, I don't know what's up with that. But at the top of the screen, we got eight 
eight humans left it says zero clowns left and also the timer until the clown apocalypse explosion happens down at the bottom left we got the human inventory it looks like you can carry up to four items and that fourth item slot it says big pocket so i'm just assuming that's the actual item that you are holding in your hand like a melee weapon or something like that and on the left side of the screen it looks like there's a chat wheel or a chat feature so you can communicate with your teammates if you're not talking on a mic and one last thing is this red noise bar that's above your hp so that's just letting you know how loud you are if you are running or attacking or just doing something noisy then this bar will let you know that you are being too loud but if you are walking or crouching or whatever this bar will be blue with like no frequency waves going on and i guess it will just be easier to hide from the clowns or something like that all right pretty much the rest of the uh, trailer is just all about the escapes i believe we got five escapes the first one is the boat escape what you need is a spark plug to repair the boat engine and also a gas can to fill up the can and only three victims can escape from the boat. The next exit they showed us was the bunker exit. And what you need is a gas can to fill up the generator and a special access card to open the door via with the keypad. And once the door opens, you only have 15 seconds or if the bunker fills up with three people, then the door will close. And so once that timer runs out or the bunker gets filled up with three humans, it'll close permanently and you have to find a new escape route. So this bunker escape is like a one-time use only. Next up, we got the portal escape. And what you need is a spark plug once again. And then all you have to do next, is just interact with the portal machine to activate it. However, that person on the machine who's activating the portal has to stay there because once they leave the machine, the portal will start closing. But this portal also closes slow enough for that person who's on the machine to escape from it as well. And once that portal closes, you do need a new spark plug to reactivate the portal escape. Also, they didn't mention the amount of players that can escape from this portal, so I'm just assuming it's unlimited. And next up, we have the gate exits that are located on the outside of the maps. And what you need for this escape is weapons and a key. So you need the weapons to break down the barricade and the key to actually unlock the gate. However, in this example, once you actually clear the barricade and unlock the gate, the bridge you cross over to escape will actually collapse if there's too many people walking over it. So right there, I'm assuming maybe only three people can cross this bridge and escape through this gate exits. And then once it collapses, you gotta find a different escape. And the last escape we got is the Transy Brothers wall escape. So once there's only 30 seconds left in the match, the Transy Brothers will crash through the wall, giving you one last chance to escape. And once again, you only got 30 seconds to escape from this wall escape otherwise you will die from the clown apocalypse explosion and one last thing they went over is like the cotton candy blockage the clown can actually barricade these escapes with their cotton candies making it harder for the victims to escape and also while the victims are clearing off the cotton candies there are quick time events that they do have to complete and if they do fail these quick time checks then the clowns will be notified all right yo that's basically the trailer what do you guys think of kill clowns from outer space the game it's coming out in a couple months and i am pretty excited for this game it does look fun but leave all your thoughts down below drop a like down below if you're excited for this and subscribing that bell icon to be notified every time we upload a brand new video have a good one i'll see you in the next one peace